On to question five. What product of the reaction shown below? So notice we have an aldehyde and it reacts under basic conditions with heat. So this is an example of an aldol addition. So notice that there are uh, two moles of this phenyl acetyl aldehyde. So it actually reacts um, with itself in order to form the final product. So I'll draw out the mechanism here. So first I'll draw a molecule of the phenyl acetyl aldehyde. And the first step is the base that, uh, ups that takes this proton. Bringing it down. So water was formed when the OH minus took the base, I mean the hydrogen. And now we have an intermediate that has a negatively charged oxygen and a newly formed double bond right there. So now this is where our second molecule comes in. So the negatively charged oxygen that was formed from our first step comes in and attacks the aldehyde. Which then gives us the following intermediate. And now, lastly, the negatively charged oxygen deprotonates a water molecule to form an alcohol group. Which gives us our final product. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. The reaction has two moles of phenyl acetyl aldehyde under basic conditions. The ethanol in the reaction is the solvent since phenyl acetyl aldehyde is not soluble in water. Overall, the reaction conditions suggest that an aldon addi aldol addition reaction would occur. The first step of the reaction is the base catalyzed enolate formation. So here they show the base uh, taking one of the uh, hydrogens, forming a double bond, and bringing the electrons up to give the oxygen 
a negative charge. They also included um, its re uh, a resonance structure as well, showing how the electrons can come back down on itself and give like a negatively charged um, carbon. Okay, so then enolate addition would occur. This would result in the formation of an alkyl alk oxide an anion. So here the double bond comes down. Alright, let me just notice that mine should also show that this doesn't attack, it should calm down and form a double bond, and it is this that attacks our carbonyl. Yep, so the junior tutor was right, and they got the following intermediate. And then lastly, the negatively charged oxygen comes in, deprotonates a water molecule, and that is how we are left with our final product. Yep, so this solution is correct. It's more correct than mine. And now we can move on to...